It's been a lot of work to get to this point. All right, these two gentlemen brought it home today. But I, listen, from the tag, Colonel Fiddler, like everybody before us has put in a ton of sweat equity into making the day possible. Hopefully, this secures the future of the South Carolina National Guard and the attack aviation community for many, many years to come. But we cannot let it rest. We have to continue to perform at the level that we're used to performing at if we expect to keep this asset in the state and continue to move forward into the future. I want to thank these two guys for the last three or four days of flying across country through weather, all kind of stuff, right? What a great day for the South Carolina National Guard, Army National Guard, and for Army Aviation. As uh, uh, Colonel Fiddler noted, this is a huge step in terms of uh, securing the future of attack aviation here in South Carolina. Uh, going back to Mr. Robinson, 30, 34, years, 34 years ago, the first alpha model coming in. So obviously a huge uh, investment in terms of talent that has been made in this state. And I just want to thank all of you who have helped make this day possible. Um, looking back over time, as uh, Jay and I were talking a little bit ago, there were some moments I was concerned that this was going to happen. You look at COVID, you look at politics, you look at a whole host of things that could have found a way to get into the process, a process that should always be determined by who is the best qualified, best capable of, of, of uh, building equipment of this nature. And hands down, y'all are. And that doesn't come just from this group of people. It started you know, generationally before setting an attitude and a culture of excellence. And I uh, see it demonstrated all the time and just really appreciate what you do and what you make happen. Just want to thank all of you and your families for being a part of this. So thank you. Appreciate it.